Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Today we're making this amazing border for a crochet blanket. You can put it on any blanket at all. We are putting it on our polka dot blanket, but it works for any blanket and you can do any color. You can do all one color, you can do two colors, or you can do an entire rainbow like I did. So let's get started. To start making this border, just find a corner of your blanket and put your hook in and we're going to just join our yarn. So how I join my yarn and we're doing this round in the same color. You can do whatever you like but I'm doing in the same color. So just put a loop of yarn on your hook, drag it through and slip stitch with both to join and now drop your tail and we're ready to start. If you have done your blanket with me, we ended with a single crochet to join and our yarn is still attached. So go to that spot, take out your stitch marker and put your hook inside that same stitch. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to be working into the back stitches. They're nice and easy to see and it'll keep our border nice and straight. So now into this space, because we're still in our corner, we'll make one single crochet and now one single crochet into each stitch going all the way along until we get to our first join. So go into your stitches until you get to this join. When you get to where it looks messy and different and weird, go into the first bit, bring the yarn and bring it back, go into that second, well basically it's a stitch on both sides of that join, go into both of them grab your yarn and bring it back. So you don't take anything off your hook. You have three loops on your hook. Then wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. So that turns that join area into one single crochet for our border, which is what we like to do. So now keep going, making one single crochet into each stitch. And I'll show you the next join as well, just so you get an idea of what it looks like. And so into the last one that looks normal and now it's kind of weird. So the first weird half, put your hook in, grab your arm and bring it to the front and into the second weird bit, kind of like the other side of that join. I don't want to go into the big space, I want to go into that stitch. I just want two loops of that stitch on my hook. Grab my yarn and bring it back, wrap my yarn, and I'm going to take off all three loops. So that's a single crochet decrease. So we're doing a single crochet decrease at the joins and one single crochet into each stitch and I'll meet you at the corner. Make sure you get into that last stitch before the corner and into the corner single crochet chain one and single crochet. So that just gives us a little tiny extra chain one to get around the corner and now keep going all the way around your entire blanket and I'll meet you when we get back to the join. When we get back to where we join just make sure you go into that last stitch which on my blocks is a chain and now into the corner one single crochet we'll do a chain one and we'll slip stitch to the top of that chain if you can see that we'll just slip stitch two loops of yarn on your hook and slip stitch to join now we are going to be continuing with this yarn. So now I'm just going to do a quick little chain two. One and two. I'm going to skip over two stitches. So this little weird one there, that's a stitch. Here's a stitch. So into the third, which is this one, I'm going to make a single crochet. Chain two, skip two, and single crochet. So now we're just making little areas for our next round of the border. And also these chains help the blanket not stretch because they don't have the same stretch. So we did single crochet and that helps it, st it stretches a lot less than the doubles. But now we're going to do a single with two chains and that'll really help tighten it up and help it not flop out when you spread it over a bed or give it a nice big shake. So two chains, skip two into the third single crochet. And we're going to do this all the way around. Oh, you'll also notice we are not turning our work this round. We're still working in, we're going to work into our V's along this side. So no turning your work. We're going to turn our work so all the pretty stitches are the, with our colored yarn for the next round. So keep going. I'll meet you at the corner. 
And you'll, if you stretch the edge of your blanket, you'll know it doesn't stretch like it did before. So that's why these making these little chain spaces are just a great thing to do for borders. Now getting close to your corner, do the same thing with your chain twos and your skipping twos and then see if it lines up anywhere near your board, your corner. And mine gets close. I kind of wanted it in that chain one spot for there. So I'm going to put it there. I'm just going to scoot that all over. We made a little chain one spot. So if you look in your corner, if you look in your corner, there's your two, the legs from your two single crochets. So we're just going to go right in the center of those two, like that, and make a single crochet. And we kind of did jump over a bit. We made this spot a little uh, smaller. I think there's pretty much, I skipped three stitches there. Doesn't totally matter. And chain two. And then into the same spot, in between those two singles, make another single crochet. So that is our chain spot for the next round. And no matter what your stitch count was, you can always fudge, make it a, like skip one stitch or, or skip three stitches. It doesn't totally matter. And I'm going to try to kind of do the same thing here, although I will, because this stitch, if you pull those crochets, those single crochets back, there's a stitch hiding right there. So I'm going to chain two one and two and I'm going to skip that one that's kind of in the corner and these other two so it matches that corner is going to match and it is kind of fudging but it's going to still be really cute and nobody's going to pick at your corners and see what you did so there is our corner and that is what you're going to do for your corners so just kind of do your best and make sure it's even on both sides. So whatever you do to fix it on one side, do the same on the other side, and then keep going. Keep it put it behind you, move on, work your way around your whole blanket, and I'll meet you at the join. When we get back to where our loops start, our chains, we're going to do our same chain two, and we're just going to find, we're just going to go into that corner, and single crochet, do our chain two, one and two, and then just slip stitch to join. I slip stitch to the second chain, so not right where I joined the yarn, but just do a little slip stitch and then grab a stitch marker. If you're lazy, I'll show you how it looks. So stitch marker into the loop when you're finished that row and then I just pin it onto a stitch on the front of my work. And then the back one, I do the same thing. I just keep a stitch marker along the back on one of those stitches and I just pop the working yarn into that stitch marker, close it up and then keep going. And that just keeps your loop on the one side you need it and you are working yarn on the other side and then you don't have to worry if you go over it too quick and the working yarn it goes on the wrong side. This is the join on the back and you can see the difference there's just one yarn coming up here where the other ones don't have it but if you're looking at your entire blanket border you can't really see and well I'm fine with that but that is the compromise you make for not cutting your yarn and weaving in your ends every every row but you do not have to cut this yarn if you don't want to. So I just put a stitch marker on it and it might also be helpful with the stitch marker to just also pin it onto, this, onto the macaroni side or onto the bad side of your circles. Good side, macaroni side. So pin it to the macaroni just so it's easier for you in the future. Now we're going to turn our work, so flip your blanket over and we're going to join our new color yarn, the first color of our border, into a corner space. So put your hook right into that chain two space you made in the corner. Loop of yarn on your hook. You want to leave a pretty decent tail because we have to sew it in later. We can't work it in forever. So bring your yarn through and slip, slip stitch with both to join. Drop your tail and chain one more. 
So that acts as a chain two if you joined like me. If you didn't join like me, then do uh, join your yarn and chain two. Wrap your yarn and into the same corner space. Make one half double crochet. So that's our, the first half of our corner. And now into the next space over here and drop your tail. We're going to have to work that in with a needle later. Into the next chain two space, wrap your yarn and do three half double crochets. So one, two, and three. Wrap your yarn and three into the next chain two space. So every space around your blanket is getting three half double crochets. And nothing in between, we're just doing half doubles, three into each of these little spaces that we made in our last round. So this is what your side is going to look like, the first round of your border. So keep going until you get to the corner and I'll meet you there. When you get to the corner, make two half double crochets into that corner space. Chain one and two more half doubles on the other end of that corner to get around. And now into each space, doing the same thing, three half doubles into each space and into the corners we're going to be doing two half doubles, a chain one, and two more half doubles. So keep going all the way around your blanket like that and I'll meet you when you get to the join. When you get back to your corner, two half doubles into that corner space, one and two. And we're finished with this color, so we'll do a chain one and slip stitch to join. So just poke your hook into the top of that chain two, or the slip stitch and the chain one. And slip stitch to join, chain one to secure your yarn, and cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So you're finished with the first color of your border. Now go back, turn your work again. So the colors we're doing on one side and these nice spaces we're doing on the back side. That is going to keep our border nice and flat or else it'll, it could start curling up like that. So if we flip, our, we flip it each round, we'll end up with a pretty nice and flat laying border. So take your stitch marker out, put that loop onto your hook, grab your yarn and slip stitch to join it up. Chain three, one, two, and three. And now go over into the next space in between those three, the sets of three half doubles and do a single crochet. Chain two and now go into your corner chain which is here. I'm going to try to get that knot tucked in there. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the same corner, chain two, single crochet into the next space, like so, and keep working your way around like we did before, chain two, and we'll do a single crochet into the space between these sets. So they're going to stack one on top of each other, and your join is going to be a little different It'll look a little different, especially on this other side. It'll just have, it'll be a bit skinnier than the rest. But I'll show you afterwards what it looks like, and I think it's worth it to not have to sew in the end. But if you want to cut your yarn every round and join in a new spot and sew in your ends, you're welcome to do that. This is just me being lazy. So keep going, finishing this round of making your chain two spots with a single crochet in between these sets all stacking up where you made them in the last round and I will meet you back at the join. When you get back to where you joined, just slip stitch into that chain. I just try to go into that first chain, two loops of, the, of that chain on my hook. Slip stitch to join, just a nice tight little slip stitch. Take your hook out and put your stitch marker in and also tuck it down on that seam side. Oh, it is very bright, isn't it? So that one stays there. And make sure that this yarn stays on the other side. So just to make sure of that, 
you can just do like a little tiny if you're not sure you can just do a little tiny loopy knotty thing and another stitch marker on this side just to hold it just so when you're going around it doesn't get tousled up and end up on the wrong side then find another corner and we're going to join our next our next yarn so pretty side up find a corner that you have not recently used put your hook in to that corner space that chain two and get your next color yarn I'm going to be doing six colors the colors I used for my polka dots and in the same rainbow order so put a loop of that yarn on your hook bring it through slip stitch with both to join drop your tail and chain one and the same way if you're joining your yarn in a different way join your yarn and do a chain two into that same corner spot one half double crochet drop your tail and three half doubles into each space all the way around so you're going to keep doing this alternating rows of your color doing your little your little boxes and then doing your little chain spaces all the way around until your border is has all the colors that you want to put on it or is the width that you would like it to be so keep going and we're going to end on this row here so when you're finished you're going to end with your chain two spaces and i'll meet you back for that and i'll show you how i finish it off so when you get back to your join do your regular chain two and push your hook in to that first chain that you made and slip stitch to join now we're going to turn our work and you can kind of see how that how where we joined is it does not look that much different for the amount of laziness so turn your blanket over. We want to work into the pretty side. Get your yarn behaving. We want to just slip stitch into this next space. So get your hook in there and just slip stitch so that your yarn is coming from that area. And chain two, one and two. That's going to count as our first half double. Two more half doubles into this stitch. And now let's put our little stitch marker back in we want to calculate our picots. So go back to your corner and make it a... So into our corner space we're going to be doing a corner and two double crochets so there's going to be a pico right in this corner and then also we can put one right here so our corners will have the three so pico, pico, pico. Skip one, pico so we're going to do a pico here. Skip one pico. So we're going to pico here. Skip one pico. So we're going to pico here. Skip one pico. Okay, so we're going to pico right where we are. That will depend on where you joined your yarn and all the rest of it. So don't worry if you're in a different spot, but you'll get an idea for what I mean. So if we're going to do a pico right here, we chain three, one, two and three and then slide your hook down back into that stitch so there's your V you want to put your hook back down into the V getting that first loop and then also the next one that's down on the side that one so you want to pick up those two loops and wrap your yarn and you're just going to slip stitch so bring your hook through and bring your hook through so there's a little pico. Doesn't look like much right now. Three double crochets into the next space. One, two, three. And we're not picoing here. We're gonna pico every other, every other single crochet is gonna get a pico on top. So we're gonna do six double crochet, six half doubles in between our picos. So we've picoed on this row and skipped one and now we're going to pico on this one it's just on the top of our it's on top of our third half double we just do a chain three one two three go down into the top of that stitch get the next loop on your hook as well so there's two loops on your hook grab your yarn and slip stitch so that's your pico wrap your yarn three half doubles into the next space here's our third and three into the next space over so this is going to be 
our four, five, and this is our sixth. Half double crochet. You can see our little bump starting. So now do your pico. So chain three, one, two, three, into the top of that stitch, push the next loop on your hook as well, grab your yarn and slip stitch to finish your pico. So we're just making these little bumps. Every other single crochet is getting one or the spot where the single crochets were. So now we're gonna do six half doubles, three into each space, two, three, and into the next, four, five, and six, and pico. So to pico, chain three, one, two, three, push your hook down into that V from the top and slide that second loop onto your hook as well. Grab your yarn and slip stitch to join. And six more double crochets, three into each of these spaces. One, two, three, into the next space, four, five, and six. I'm almost out of yarn, relatively speaking. I almost have to go get more yarn. So we're going to pico, one, two, three, and into the top of that stitch, so going down into it, two loops on your hook, slip stitch to finish the pico. You can see these picos, they're, they're not bulky, they're the same thickness as your blanket, but they just add a little texture on the edge, and they make your blanket look like it's finished. No one's going to wonder why you stop. They're going to be like, oh, well, of course it's finished, look at those picos. So keep going six half double crochets into two of these sections and then a chain three pico. All the way along I'll meet you at the corner. So I've just finished my pico. So into the next space I'll do my three, one, two, three half doubles and then into that corner chain two space I'll do my two half doubles, one and two and now I'm going to do a pico again, but I'm going to do with four. I'm going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And we're still doing it the same way. It's just because it's in the corner. It'll just be a smudge bigger. So back down into that stitch, two loops on your hook, slip stitch to join. And now we'll work back along this side. So we'll finish our two more half doubles into the same corner space. And three into the next space. One, two, three. And then whatever happened on the first side of the corner, you're going to mirror it on the second side. So I ended up with a pico right here. So I'm going to do a pico on the opposite side just so this corner matches. Your corners might be a bit different from one side to the other. It depends on what blanket you're doing and how your stitch count was. When we get back to the join, so we have where we joined and our chain one on top of that. So just get into that chain, two loops on your hook, one and two, slip stitch to join, chain one, Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that is how you do this super fantastic stacking tile rainbow border. Though yours does not have to be rainbow, but I love it. And a cute little pico at the top. You don't have to do the pico either, but I really think it makes it look finished. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share and stay hooked.